Hey guys, uh, it's Tyler here. I just want to review uh, Android 2.2 for the Droid X. Um, as you can see, it still has the Ninja Blur buttons down here, the dialer, the um, the All Apps button, and the Contacts button here. And um, there's some uh, a little bit of differences. You see here on the uh, lock screen, there's an updated uh, slider. You have the regular unlock. Uh, oops, the regular unlock here, uh, same function, but this here on the left that usually silences and turns on the sound, uh, you slide it and it goes to vibrate and on and there's some really funky configurations for this uh, this and it uh, once you update it, it all resets and you have to set it to um, it doesn't set it to silent, you can't actually go to silent, see um, as much as I press down on my um, my volume rocker here, I, I can't go to silent without going into uh, settings and going into some confusing settings. But anyways, that's just a little quirk about the uh, the new iOS, the new uh, OS. But you see here in the camera app, there's a new uh, addition here. Uh, there's a button right here that takes pictures. Instead of pressing the hardware key, you have an on-screen uh, camera shutter button, and when you press it, it it'll focus and then take the picture. So you don't have to. I find it a little hard to keep focus while pressing the button down. So this is a simple alternative. And um, sorry, I'm out of screen here. Uh, here on the, uh, this side, you have a a pullout menu now instead of a um, it always being there you can also just tap right here and um, pretty neat uh, let's see what else we have here it's the same like that in the uh, camcorder also um, of course you still have the seven home screens here you know uh, all seven of them are still here um, and you, the thing I do not like about Ninja Blur, which is this uh, watered down version of Moto Blur, but Motorola says it's not Moto Blur. I don't know, but anyways, is this? I hate this thing at the bottom. This little dot uh, scroller here. It it gets in the way because uh, once you scroll through a page, it comes on. And you have to wait a couple seconds for your uh, buttons to come back up to go to your apps and um, speaking of that uh, it has a new animation to when you click your apps it kind of fades into your existing apps and fades out uh, it's pretty neat uh, no lagging in it uh, it's always pretty smooth oops it's always really smooth and um, it functions pretty well um, so you go into settings here and uh, you can go into applications and you can manage applications and here in uh, manage applications you have the downloaded uh, tab all your apps that are running you have all of your apps on your phone and the apps on your SD card and you can um, transfer all of your applications to um, uh, to your SD card from your phone memory and another cool oops, another cool feature which has been on um, ADW launchers and um, launcher pro is um, you go into applications and double tap home launch and they have all these options here that when you double click your home button it goes to this shortcut and you can go I have mine on text messaging so you see, I can tap it twice, it goes straight to text messaging, which is a, um, a good shortcut. And a new uh, addition here, you hold down your home to get to your recent apps, and now it has eight recent apps instead of six in the uh, previous Android version, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, like I said, I, I'm not sure what it is about not being able to go to a silent. I don't know what they were trying to do uh, it may just be a uh, 
a little quirk in the OS, but hopefully they'll uh, update it, one more update to uh, fix that or something, but it's really been getting on my nerves. But um, other than that, there's not much different. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, nothing really different. All the uh, Ninja Blur apps or widgets are the same. You have news here. All my favorites, it's all the same. Um, let's see. No, yeah, nothing much. The browser is the same. Oh, the gallery here. I forgot about that. A new gallery. Um, I like it tons better than the uh, the previous one. It the previous one was just uh, bland and it was just a list of these. But now you have uh, stacks of pictures. You can click all photos here, and it'll take you into all your photos and you know scroll through those or whatever. Um, all videos. All folders, camera, all your camera pictures, your tags from Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. But um, pretty neat. But uh, I think that's about it with um, the updates. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very well made update. Uh, a few quirks, but that's okay. And uh, very fast. Uh, I scored, not scored, but I registered fourteen fourteen on the quadrant standard uh, benchmark test so uh, that is faster than the Nexus 1 on 2.2 so uh, it, this device is pretty fast with 2.2 and uh, tell me any scores uh, higher than mine that you got I'm interested to see what uh, what you guys get with a uh, benchmark so uh, yeah that's my review of the uh, Android 2.2 on Droid X thanks guys for uh, watching